new desktop look, uh, take a quick look at the Motif Window Manager, um, and I guess by extension, uh, the Motif Toolkit. Um, actually, Window Manager I use uh, quite a bit, not as much as TWM um, for everyday use, but I use it on my my small laptop. Uh, works better in TWM if you don't have a mouse. Um, this is just kind of a, a quick look, um, describe some of the features of it. It is still a viable window manager. Um, it was created uh, way back when. So we looked at Open, open Look previously, Open Windows. That was AT&T and Sun. This was everyone else in the Unix world. So um, the OSF players. So it was, you know, digital, IBM, um, HP, you know, probably others. Uh, came up with this, and this is... You know, borrows a lot of stuff from the previous, um, you know, HP windowing environment. May also look familiar if you remember Windows, um, you know, 3.1, Windows NT 4-ish, uh, 3.5, sorry. Um, it's got that kind of pre-Windows 95 NT 4 look to it. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it. Um, provides standard stuff. So you got a minimize button icons, maximize, restore, window operations here in your uh, leftmost button. You can also get that with a right click um, anywhere on there to get your window operation menu. Um, a lot of the look and feel is controlled via um, your X resources or X defaults. Um, pretty good way to do it. Uh, configuration is pretty painless to um, control button and uh, menu. Uh, here's my, my actual config here. didn't bring over my X defaults onto this machine, so this is just kind of the, the stock look to it. But you can see i got my customized menus here, um, which is all you really need to do. Um, you know, one of my gripes with the more modern window managers, one of the reasons I still use classics like this in TWM, is what do you really need a window manager for? Move windows around, resize them, stack them in different ways, uh, cycle through them, and maybe bring up a menu on the root window. Not a whole lot to it. Um, the other thing to note is I just X set root to, to do the gray, the, the classic uh, X thatching. Um, I don't know, I like the look of it. And especially on a nice high res modern LCD, it looks really good. Um, there was a time in PC monitors, oh you had some awful PC interlaced 1024, 768, didn't look that great. Always looked nice on Sun and SGI monitors. Um, of course, they wouldn't give you that. It's the default background in their default windowing systems. Uh, but yeah, so so pretty straightforward. And you see, uh, you know, what you need in a in a menu is stuff you get to. So Firefox, Thunderbird, and your editors. Um, which, quick side point, Slackware just comes lousy with all the editor choices you need right out of the box. That's one of the things. You know, uh, digressing a little bit from Motif is. Uh, is about Slackware and its its editor. So you get Elvis, you know, which in many ways better is the best VI clone in my mind. You get Vim if you want a more heavyweight. You you get GNU Emacs, so that's not in the base set. It's in the the E set of packages, which you should default install anyway. But you get things like Jed and Jove. I don't use Jove, but I do use Jed. Jed's actually a quite capable editor. But um, uh, enough on this. Uh, Back to Motif, a couple other things. It was also the window manager for the common desktop environment. And, you know, in, in retrospect, I think the CDE common desktop environment was a bit of a misstep. Um, you know, one of the things that, that made the Unix distributions great was that they were different. Right? And you could buy Motif and put it on any of those things. Um, and to try to unify it and, and kind of go to the least common denominator, I think really hurt things. Um, Sun, had they stayed with, and AT&T stayed with Open Look and Open Windows, that was in many ways a stronger uh, desktop environment. Although, you know, Sun did port some of the uh, accessories over to uh, CDE, so that, that rich in that. Um, and then, of course, SGI, not really involved in that. So SGI was doing their own thing. I wish I had an SGI machine. Um, last one I used was, I guess, well, 2002 or something. I had a, an Octane on my desk. Beautiful machines. Uh, you know, that was the start of their decline. 
when PCs really started to um, become competitive in terms of performance. But, uh, you know, SGI had their own desktop environment, which was kind of the best of the Unix of the encapsulated Unix desktop environments for general use, was just really slick, uh, had a lot of capabilities. Where CDE was, eh, it was just it always felt kind of crusty and uh, not terribly good. And the first thing to do on any CDE machine was not use CDE. So throw Open Look on it if it was you know at Suns it was no problem. You got to choose Open Windows, but on something like an AIX machine, oh you had to jump through a hoop or two, if I recall correctly, to go swap out the Window Manager or not use CDE at all in an XDM enabled uh, thing where you didn't necessarily have root privileges. Um, what else is there to say about uh, about Motif? Um, there's a couple ways to get the Motif window manager these days. Um, one is Lestif, which was an open source clone that uh, started while proper Motif was still um, kind of a, a proprietary proposition. Uh, in the past few years now, Motif has been made open. It's now open Motif, so you have the choice which one you want to get. By and large, they're equivalent. Um, this is actually open Motif here. Part of that is to build some software against real Motif libraries, um, doing some builds there. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's not uh, not that much of a difference. You just want the window manager. They should be equivalent. Well, that's it. Sorry this is a very quick video. There's just not a whole lot to say about uh, Motif. Thanks.